We're joined once again by Miss Charlene Patton with the Kansas Soybean Commission. We're always glad to have her. This is our second um, recipe of the day, yeah. right? And so we're making apple glazed tart. So how do we get started? Well, I love this dough. We talked earlier, that, and this is a different dough. I love it. It's a nice soft dough that we're going to do this pastry. Okay. But um, it uses margarine, and you want to use margarine that has a high oil content. Which is our soybean. That's right. Okay. That's our um, soybean product that's in here. Okay. So what I've done is I made that pastry, and then you refrigerate it for just a few minutes, and then you roll it out, and then I put it on here, and then it's such a nice one that you can just push it Have here it to the side. That's okay. right. Now, you're going to help me, but we're going to make rows oh, of okay. apples. So, so we're starting yeah, with this. Yeah, you just get in there, and I'm going to make rows. And you know, this would be fun if uh, kids want to oh, make diagonal shapes, if you wanted to do... Gosh, patterns, you could do that. But we have, I left the uh, peels on because I thought that adds just some extra color there to it. And crunch. Yep. Oops, sorry, just Caroline. grab it in there, yes. Oh, and you, it looks like we've got green and. So do we, well, uh, yes, this particular apple that I used was kind of a reddish green apple. So oh, you okay, see so that's that why we're seeing it, the different colors. Yeah, just have it. Look how messy my side is. You guys are doing, it's going to taste the same, guys. And you guys, you have on your new aprons, and look, you're cooking, and we're going to just take good care of you this morning. Good. There we okay. go. There go. All right. Now, what we're going to do is you've got the sugar, yeah, so I got sprinkle the sugar, the sugar okay. on. Okay, here we go. If I can just not get it everywhere. Wow, that's a lot of... Um, <laughs> listen, you know how much sugar I put in my oats, so yeah. we're going to use... Do I need to use it all? Uh-huh, that'd be fine. Well, yeah. And then, uh, Rainy, you've got some uh, margarine that I've melted there. Okay, don't mess up my sugar. <laughs> and you're going to drizzle it down each of it, so that just a little bit on each of it. That just adds a little extra flavor. <gasps> yeah. We're going to bake this at Ooh. 400 degrees. Oh, wow. Or 45 to 60 minutes. It'll oh, that's start, a long time. It is, and you'll start to see it getting golden here, like here. That is gorgeous. It is so pretty. When it comes out of the oven, to give it that sheen, I have got a little bit of apple jelly Ooh. that I mixed oh, with a bit of good. apple juice. And take your pastry brush and brush it when it comes out of the oven. And look okay, how that shines. Okay, once it's done, because yeah, I mean, we really wouldn't be able to brush it now. No. So it's after it comes out. Yeah, and see how that shines so nice that there. That is beautiful. Cut that into pieces. But how easy is that? And it looks so fancy. It I does. Love Perfect it. for a fall night in with a nice blanket, a movie, and this right out of the oven. And the oh, fire. Oh boy, that sounds mm -hmm. great. Yep. That sounds right. I love they it. can get the recipe yep. at KansasSoybeans.org, and we'll send them all the recipes for October or call our 800 number 877 KS Soybean. All right, thank you Miss Charlene. Wonderful to have you and we'll have another recipe coming up on Midday in Kansas. Yeah. So stay with us. We're back right after this.